To everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven. Join me as we dive into the history behind some of the most beloved songs for every season. Seasons of celebration, of gratitude, of anticipation, and more. In each episode, I'll explain the history of a well-known song and then perform some of it for you. Traditional wedding music is actually made up of two separate pieces of music from two vastly different composers. The first piece is usually played when the bride is actually walking down the aisle. This is the processional. Think, here comes the bride. But that's not how the song started. Written by Richard Wagner, this piece is part of his 1850 opera. Lohengrin was known as the Bridal Chorus. Wagner was a German composer, theater director, and conductor who is chiefly known for his operas. His music is characterized by complex textures, rich harmonies, and orchestration, and he is credited with altering the course of Western music. The second part is usually played when the couple is leaving the ceremony. This is the recessional. The piece was composed by German composer Felix Mendelssohn in 1842 as part of his incidental music for William Shakespeare's play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. The piece, known as The Wedding March, was originally written as a joyful and celebratory interlude during Act Four of the play, but it has since become synonymous with wedding ceremonies, especially in Western culture. Mendelssohn was a German composer, pianist, organist, and conductor of the early Romantic period. His music is known for its clarity of structure and melody, blending classical forms with Romantic content. Mendelssohn was a prodigy who showed musical talent at a very young age and grew to become one of the most popular composers of the Romantic era. These pieces were adopted into wedding traditions gradually. Wagner's Bridal Chorus became popular after it was performed at the wedding of Princess Victoria, the eldest daughter of Queen Victoria, to Prince Frederick William of Prussia in 1858. Mendelssohn's Wedding March saw a similar rise in popularity after it was used in the 1858 royal wedding of Princess Victoria, the Queen's daughter, and Prince Frederick William of Prussia, although it was composed much earlier in 1842. The use of both pieces in the same wedding ceremony became a common practice in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. As the tradition of a white wedding, popularized by Queen Victoria herself, spread, and these pieces of music became synonymous with the wedding processional and recessional. Thank you for listening. May music fill this and every season of your